I am Jesse Montgomery, and I am a composer and a violinist, and um, currently also um, in doing my PhD studies at Princeton. Hi, I'm Susie Park. I play the violin, and I'm uh, a resident of Minneapolis, but I'm currently in Sydney, and you will probably hear some birds screeching, so pardon them. So, Jesse, I wonder if you could talk to us about um, Rhapsody, uh, what inspired you to write, write this piece, and what is it about? just want to know everything about this piece. I had ri- originally written, um, had the idea of writing pieces for, for myself to practice, like that ha- had some technical uh, challenges in it that keep my, you know, keep my playing up and sort of was um, treating them like, a- treating it like an etude. Uh, but then this piece ended up really becoming like um, compositionally quite different from an etude. And then, um, and then sort of going on a, like it goes through a lot of different moods, right? Um, so then I decided to rename it a Rhapsody. Um, I also actually, am, I can finally announce that I have a Rhapsody number two that was just recorded by our lovely, lovely, amazing friend, Michi Bianco. Um, and she's gonna be releasing that in September. So there is a, a second in the world um, of which I intend, I, I intend there to, be six uh, in total because I would like to make a set of six you know in honor of the tradition of having a set of six solo works so I had sort of intended um, I also have a you know a hope that these that these pieces can can serve as studies for like mid to advanced you know violinists studying you know in high school or early college. Actually Susie I'm wondering about what it's like to play a work that was written by a fellow violinist. Is it really apparent to you when you're playing the piece that the language and the way it feels on your instrument makes more sense than it might if the composer were not a violinist? I will say absolutely, indubitably, 100,000% yes. And I love that. And um, parts of it actually remind me of the Isai solo sonatas, of which there are six. And um, I love playing those because of the way they fit in the hand, how they feel. They're so violinistically written. Um, So they feel, even though they are um, are challenging, um, they feel actually good to play. So I also really uh, love the fact that you use open strings in this piece and that that's clearly like the most resonant that the violin can be. And so I think it really um, highlights the the joy, the ringing um, of, of the instrument, the nature of the instrument. I actually, you mentioned the Uzai. I was definitely inspired by the Uzai as I was writing. So you're right on about that. Um, yeah, that was probably my main sort of violinistic <clears throat> uh, inspiration. Yeah. Sometimes when you play solo instrument music, you feel maybe a little bit um, lonely. And maybe that's something, that's a character that you're going for. But in this piece, I feel like obviously the opening is very um, still and um, contemplative, but, and and you're alone, but I never feel lonely. And I really like that about this piece, you know, and maybe that's just some sort of, you know, because of what's happening right now and, and because we are a lot alone and probably feeling lonely but I don't know for some reason maybe it's because I know you so when I'm playing and I feel connected to you but it's really lovely 